it is hot. Whew. Definitely. But it's all good. All right, so I just had to duck off that main track real quick. I heard um, some four-wheelers coming, right? And I haven't seen any tracks of four-wheelers at all, so I wasn't sure what direction they were coming from, but I just wanted to duck out. I prefer for people not to know that I'm out here. So now we're in the tree line, and I would say if I had to estimate maybe 300 meters away from Black Creek. So what we're going to do now is push through push through the woods down to um down to black creek keeping in mind that this is florida right and the closer you get to large water sources the likelihood that you're going to encounter gator nest or gators is uh increased right so keeping that in mind i'm going to move slowly deliberately and watch where i step so let's go Ah, I think I see a clearing over here. Check it out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is solid. If you can find a clearing and you don't have to do the work yourself, clearing out space to set up a shelter, do it. All right, let's break out the Norca. First, gotta dig through all this other crap I got in here. Let's see. All right. Ah, uh, look at that beautiful DPM, guys. That is nice. That is real nice. So, let's see how we're gonna do this. That's what I'm talking about. I had gone to Walmart and tried to buy some dome, some cheap dome tent, and actually get the poles to bend, and it was a fail. So I actually had to buy the real poles. But these are not specifically for the Norca. They're just for a hooped bivy shelter. But look at that. I'm, I'm feeling really good this is gonna work. This is just the insert right here. And the pole just goes through like so. All right. All right, so remember how I said I had not tested this out at home? Well, maybe I should have, but quite honestly, it's kind of good that I didn't because it's forcing me to improvise and I'm just lucky enough to have the tools that I need to make it happen because what's the problem? The pole is too long, right? 
it's like that much too long. That is, you know, a fair amount, right? And there's no way I can get around it except actually cutting this aluminum. And the only way I can cut the aluminum is if I have a knife with serrations, right? So, lucky for me, I got my Gerber LMF2 on me. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna continue cutting through this aluminum very carefully in a circular fashion. I need to be very careful that I do not cut the bungee cord inside of here because if I do, I don't know how I can fix that out here. Uh, maybe I can, maybe I can't, but I want to avoid doing that. So let's go ahead and uh, do this field mod and get the shelter up and running. All right, so now time to break out the multi-tool. You know, I don't use a multi-tool that much, but when I do, I'm damn glad that I have it on me. So what we're gonna do is pop out this end right here and see if we can just go ahead and snap this piece off with a little bit of torque. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that, beautiful. Now the only thing I gotta do very carefully is take this piece completely off so I can slide the broken useless piece off and then put it back on. So obviously gotta be real careful with this because if I lose this inside of here, that's also gonna suck. I'm gonna utilize my multi-tool again and I'm gonna pop out the, um, I'm gonna pop out the file. <laughs> I love a multi-tool, you know, you never really appreciate a multi-tool until you really got to use one. And so I'm just going to use the file. I'm going to clean up these, these sharp ends right here and then move on to the next pole. I want to get it tied twice. Would be nice. And then we are solid. And then the moment of truth, we find out if the pole actually fits, which damn well better. You guys have no idea, like, <laughs> I literally have butterflies. Oh, <laughs> look at that, guys. Look, it works. In case you guys are wondering, that's the Kershaw Siege in action. Pretty solid tomahawk. Second time I've got a chance to really use it. And yeah, not bad.
so yeah lots of room in here you know I can come down all the way down here with my head you see it stretches all the way out to there which is pretty cool and then I could definitely ah, I obviously would bring the boots in here bring any essential equipment anything I didn't want to get wet obviously you know I wanted to uh, bring the Glock in there and um, yeah there's definitely enough room for that now usage during summer months I don't know I'm gonna try it out but um yeah I would probably sleep with this open for sure now during the winter this is definitely solid definitely a good to go type of shelter during summer spring hmm, I don't know we're gonna figure that out <laughs> probably the hard way but um yeah yeah overall seems pretty solid so hmm I don't know it's gonna take a little getting used to like I said I'm used to those wide open shelters, but you know, having the ability to, to set this thing up and break it down super quick and leave like no signature, no trace, really can't go wrong with that. And that's something you definitely want in a, um, you know, shit hit the fan type of situation. God forbid you have to bail out, you know, with your gear and uh, set up in the woods for a while until things blow over or until you um, get to your rendezvous point, to your uh, survival retreat or whatever. So. Overall, seems like a good shelter. I'm going to uh, definitely put it to some more use. Yeah, yeah. I'd say we definitely need some high ground. See if you guys look up there. Definitely some elevation. Let's go that way. Ah, shit. Ah. Man, I am sinking in this stuff. No joke. Ever so carefully. Ah, man! I tell you, I just get the, uh, I just get sketchy thinking about, thinking about snakes. Can't stand fucking snakes. Boom! Get hit by one. All right, that's a little bit better. As a matter of fact, that's a lot better.
looks good. Breakfast skillet. When you got your Nomex gloves on, you got no worries. Anyways guys, so that's that's an orca back there, you know? Let me know what you think. I'm trying to find something that is an all seasonal shelter. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it with an orca because in hot conditions, that thing is gonna be rough. I mean, it's going to, yeah, it's just gonna suck. So I'm thinking like maybe a hammock for like actual summer. But aside from that, thing is good to go. Low profile, easy to set up. And um, yeah, just all around excellent bit of kit. Love it. So hit me up in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think. I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.